Today we're going to teach you how to make a basic mud knot that holds itself in without any bands or string to keep your horse's tail clean in the spring mud. Start with a tail that's well brushed. However, make sure your tail doesn't have any show sheen or other grooming product in it. That will make it slick as the knot will not hold. Go ahead and split your tail into three large sections for braiding at the base of the tailbone. However, make sure that you reserve a small section in the back for the final tie-off as this will hold the whole tail together. Take your three sections that are larger, braid them together very tightly. Because this is a Welsh pony, he does not have a tail as long as your average horse. His braid will not be as long as you will be doing on your horse. Braid down until you have approximately 8 inches left at the bottom. Take these ends and flip the tail up underneath itself. You want to tie in about halfway down the tailbone. You'll start with one of the sections and wrap it tightly around as best you can, making sure you have at least that much left. For some of you, that could be two or three loops, depending on the length of your tail. Then take the other one and wrap it around the other direction just as tightly until the two come together like such. Then you will twist them, making almost a rope. When you get close to the end, you're going to take it and fold it back in half. And I like to tuck it back in that little notch. Now you'll take that last piece that you saved from the beginning and start wrapping it around this loop you've made nice and tight. Start at the base and wrap towards the tip. Wrap it tight as you can. and then start working your way back up towards the base of the tail. You can, again, if you'd like, for extra security, take this last tag and you can put it back through that same notch to hold the tail a little tighter. When you're all done with your mud knot, you grab the wrapped part here and you're going to pull down. This pulling down tightens this piece here, which makes the knot hold leaving a braided portion at the end. And that is a mud knot. 